A complementary good is a good whose use is related to the use of an associated or paired good. Two goods, A and B, are complementary if using more of good A requires the use of more of good B. For example, the demand for one good, printers, generates the demand for the other, ink cartridges. If the price of one good falls and people buy more of it, they will usually buy more of the complementary good also, whether or not its price also falls. Similarly, if the price of one good rises and reduces its demand, it may reduce the demand for the paired or complementary good as well. In economics, you may often hear about substitute goods. These are the opposite of complementary goods and are a whole other topic by themselves. For instance, Microsoft Windows-based personal computers and Apple Macs are substitutes. If you buy one, you probably don't buy the other. Sprite and 7-Up are another example of substitute goods. When you go to Best Buy to get a new computer, what usually happens? You end up buying some software or programs to go with it. You might find out that you need Microsoft Office or a specialized accounting software for your business. The new computer alone won't get the job done. You need the complementary software also. A common example, but changing a little with newer technology, is the DVD player and DVD complement. When you get the new DVD player for Christmas, you usually are hoping for one of your favorite DVDs to go along with it. As technology changes, so may the complements of particular goods and services. Previously, DVD players simply DVDs. Now consumers can use this device to stream movies and television shows. So a new complement good to these systems might be a streaming service such as Netflix. Those of you with kids, or at least childlike taste buds, should relate to this example. Taking a trip to the grocery store to pick up peanut butter usually results in grabbing the strawberry or grape jelly to go along with it. If the price of peanut butter goes up and less people buy it, there is a strong chance that sales of jelly will also fall. In business, complementary goods give additional market power to the company. One pricing strategy example that exists for complementary goods and their corresponding base good is, price the base good at a relatively low price to the complementary good. This approach entices consumers to buy the first good, with the business knowing they will most likely have to buy the marked up complementary good. Printer and inkjet cartridge example. It often isn't the price of the printer that gets us, it is the third trip back to the store to get that expensive ink. Two goods, A and B, are complementary goods if using more of good A requires the use of more good B. As the quantity demanded for good A increases, so does the demand for good B. On the flip side, as less people want good A, the demand for good B will also go down. Examples of complementary goods are peanut butter and jelly and computer hardware and software. When you buy one, you usually buy the other. Companies love to have complementary goods and use strategies such as discounting one base item like a DVD player and then charging more for the complementary goods such as DVDs and wiring cables.